Danny. You. So about that secret. Oh, yeah. My secret. Well, you're my pal, so I can tell you. But don't let it get out. I've been working for Tannen for over a month now. What? It's true. All I got to do is look the other way while evidence is getting destroyed or a truck full of gin is coming across the county line and Tannen makes sure an extra bunch of bills makes their way into my pay envelope. Great deal, huh? Yeah, if you're a rat. What's the problem? People need to drink, right? As long as no one's getting hurt, why shouldn't Daniel J. Parker make a few bucks on the action? What about Artie McFly? Hasn't he been missing for two months? That's true, and all signs point to a tannin job. Oh, God. I've made a horrible mistake. I thought if I could get my hands on some money, that Betty'd take me back. But when she finds out what I've done, she'll never even talk to me again. What have I done? <laughs> Come on, Danny, pull yourself together. It's not so bad. Not so bad? I'm a corrupt cop who's lost his only chance at true love. How's that not so bad? <laughs> Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. Edna! What? What was that song you were singing earlier? Do you like it? I wrote it myself. It really gets the toes tapping at the Stay Sober Society meetings. Although I suppose that could be the shakes. Would you like to hear it again? Uh, sure. I knew if I waited long enough, somebody would request it. You say you've lost your self-respect, but you should care. It's not too late to redirect and start to care. Don't despise the good and pure. Time to rise up from the sewer. Wash off all that foul manure. Show the world you care. You should care. You should care. What people think of you. A ghost that you could name reclaiming. Your good name is what you ought to do. You should care. You should care If your reputation is in disrepair It's not going to hurt you To reclaim your virtue For you should care Catchy You really think so? Yeah, it's uh, got a good hook to it One needs a good hook If one is fishing for souls Do you think I could have a copy of your You Should Care lyrics? I've, uh, got a club of my own that could really use some inspiring. Sure. Let me just get a page out of the hymnal. There you are. Hey, thanks. See ya. Keep fighting the good fight. Welcome back, sir. Looks like Parker's still... parked. Hey, Trixie! Look over there! Why? Didn't you see it? No. Ah, uh, never mind.
Danny. You. Trust me, things will get better. Just keep listening to the music. Why? None of the words help anymore. <laughs> Trust me, things will get better. Just keep listening to the music. Why? None of the words help anymore. <laughs> I guess now I know why you won't arrest Tannen. You're working for him. Bingo! You know, drinking that much is really bad for your health. What are you, my mother? More like future grandson-in-law. What? Never mind. Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. Hey, bartender. What'll it be? So about this, uh, portrait gallery of yours. What about it? What's it all about? Who are those guys? <clears throat> the caricatures hanging along the Wall of Honor commemorate those who are no longer with us on account of having ticked off one Irving Kid Tannen. They're the guys the kids killed? Well, of course not. They're just a bunch of guys that Kid didn't particularly like and that at a later date turned up dead. It's a, a what do you call it, a, a circumstantial coincidence, yeah. What are you drawing? Another celebrity caricature. You drew those? Prohibition ain't gonna last forever, Bob. I gotta have a skill I can fall back on when all this goes away. Think you could do a caricature of me? Sure. Presto! That really doesn't look like me. I didn't have much to work with. Thanks for the talk. Next time, order a drink. This ain't no library, you know. Hey, Doc, I could use a little help. What's the problem? Is Artie still here? He's in the bathroom. Hey, Artie, open up. You've got a gangster to bring down. Is it time for me to meet this Sylvia? No, it's time for you to meet Trixie. Trixie says she's got something that might be able to send Kid up the river, but that you're the only one she trusts to check it out. Me? What is she... Oh, I know what she's done. Clever. Care to let us in on the secret? Sorry, guys, but if Trixie's keeping it a secret, then so am I. That's all well and good, Mr. McFly, but if you and Trixie are going to collaborate on this evidence, we'll need to arrange a rendezvous. Well, Trixie's chained to kids' speakeasy. So we'll have to bring Arthur to Trixie. Uh-uh. No way am I getting anywhere near that place again. I don't know how you talked me into this. Just stay back here in the shadows and don't come out until you see Trixie. You're sure I'll be safe here? Perfectly safe. We'd never make you take any unnecessary... <gasps> Sagan. Where's Kid? Don't worry. Welcome back, sir. What's it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on Kid? I 
Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Guess who's waiting in the alley to talk with you? Huddy? The one and only. It wasn't easy to track him down. I had Come to... Come up for me, cue ball. I'm taking a smoke break. Had a girl. Hey, you! Huh? Yeah, jerk! I saw you making eyes at my Eunice! Sorry, pal. I don't have time for a fight. Why, you... I'll never get to Carnegie Hall at this rate. All right, fella. I think you're done for the night. Hey, where do you think you're going? Me? Yeah, you. What do you know about this? Uh, nothing. I... Trixie? Break silver cue ball. Whatever you say, babe. What was that? Artie? <laughs> you missed a hell of a party, buddy. Kid, well, what happened? Oh, you're gonna love this. So, I'm hanging out in the club when all of a sudden I get an urge to drain the lizard, right? I come out into the alley, and who do I see? None other than that scrawny, subpoena-answering rat, Artie McFly. And get this! The little worms whisper in a way I'll conquistadorial-like with my Trixie! Oh, no. Naturally, I pull out Kid Jr. and prepare to put a couple bullets in McFly's head. Which causes Artie's nose to start bleeding because he's a big wuss. And then... <laughs> and then... <laughs> what? Trixie literally gets down on the knees and begs me to let him live! <laughs> huh? Seriously, down on the knees crying and begging for McFly's life! So, uh, what did you do? What could I do? I fired two shots in the air and told Artie to take a hike. Huh, that was merciful. Hey, I got plenty of mercy. Besides, now Trixie owes me big time. And Kid Tannen always collects on his debts. Always. Welcome back, sir. What's it going to take to get Trixie to squeal on Kid? You think you could draw a picture of this guy? Sure. Hey, that looks like that Artie McFly think. Hmm, I never noticed that before. Hey, uh, can you give him a hat like Artie wears? Voila! Nice job. Now, go tell them chumps at the New Yorker. Sorry about this, Dad. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? I don't know how to tell you this, but I think you should check out the Wall of Fame. Why? What is it? I don't believe it. We had a deal. Artie was supposed to be safe. 
I don't know what to say. Well, I do. Felony tax evasion. What? Before he died, Artie was teaching me about all sorts of stuff. Literature, history, accounting. And I made a big discovery while I was copying all of kids' books. This establishment ain't entirely on the up and up. Really? Oh, I knew about all the gangster stuff. That kind of thing you expect from tough guys like Hid. But when I found out he ain't been paying taxes on his speakeasy profits, well, cheating Uncle Sam is one step over the line. Once I turn this over to the police, they'll throw the book at him. This book? Hey, copper! He's not interested. Figures. Half the police force is in Tannen's pocket. Give me a few minutes to work on him. I've got a hunch he'll come around. Boss? Do you mind? I'm trying to have a good time here. I think you'll want to see this. Are you crazy? Bringing a stick of dynamite into my club? That's just it, boss. It's all over the place. I think our speakeasy arsonist is getting ready to strike again. Danny. You! Trust me, things will get better. Just keep listening to the music. Why? None of the words help anymore. <laughs> Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. Hey! Take a hike, Squirt. Hey! What? I'll have a drink. What's your poison? Peps, uh, on second thought, forget it. Suit yourself. Talk to you later. Hey, look, a paying customer. You in? Why not? Gonna put it all on red. Two. <sighs> you in? Even's my lucky number. Twenty-one. This isn't my game. You in? Something tells me black's gonna hit. Twenty-three. Yeah. Way down in Louisiana, down in New Orleans. Eh, maybe not. <laughs> hey, I do the singing round here. <laughs> 